brethren, brothers, sisters. <clears throat> um, you know, to wrap your mind around what is going to occur is hard for even me to do. I mean, I can't. Even I understand what exactly is why everything is occurring, but what's going to occur. You know, if you think of it in the way that I do as to we're in a program and it's the end of the game. And that <clears throat> when you're done playing a video game, what happens? The screen gets cleared and boom. It's not over. However, as I have already stated that I believe that a new form of existence is in order <clears throat> without being at the mercy of the generator. This This, uh, I, I don't want to, I don't know what to call it, idea or this premonition or I believe is more than just a premonition. This is, this is what it is, that everything's going to change as we know it, okay? This, uh, what they see in outer space is the program coming to an end. Wormwood or this, they see a, what they see, my children, is a, like a, not a, well, I, let's say it looks like a, like a planet with worms around it. That's what it looks like, okay? And I believe that's why they call it wormwood, because that's what it looks like, worms. Okay? Now, obviously, I'm quite sure that NASA is well aware that this is a quantum generator program run by the generator, Saturn. And maybe only certain people at NASA know this ultimate answer to what exactly is occurring. And all the other lower down dum-dums don't really understand that we're in a quantum genetic program and that uh, they're trying to look at it like what kind of is it a planetary body or what, but even that's probably not even true. <clears throat> probably a lot of people at NASA do know that we're in a quantum generator program. They have to know that. And they're just pervading this illusion that they don't really know what it is and all this shit, but they know. So that's what that is. That thing that people see, that thing that's coming, that has worms around. It looks like it has worms around it. That's that's what they call wormwood in the Bible. That's the end of the program. That's what that is. Now, uh, it's possible that with the in because their inclusion with the gray monkey monsters and the reptilians, that they have already looked at. Uh,
computer generated uh, images of what happened last time. Okay. These gray monkey monsters and reptilian people and these other space rat termites that they're in collusion with probably showed them what it looks like from outer space. I mean, well, what it look, what outer space looks like, you know, before the end of the program comes. So now, <clears throat> that's not what it looks like now. Okay, it looks like something different. So now, you know, it's possible that these gray monkey monsters and the other space rat termites and reptilian races did not tell them that this was is actually the ultimate end of the program. You know, you know. I mean, look at the song Europe sang. It's the final countdown. You know, and I thought like, oh, they say it's the final countdown because, oh, it's the countdown to the end of the program. But to say that it's the final countdown means this is the last countdown, okay? This is the last ending of the program. This is, this is it. This is, there's no more starting over. Not as we know it. And I also believe that Earth is actually some kind of sh ship or some kind of, that it moves, okay? It can move. Earth, well, it's, all, all plants have the ability to move, okay? Because they're spirits and they, they actually can move themselves, believe it or not. <laughs> A planet can actually move itself, okay? If it wants to move, it can move. Right, so that's maybe another reason why they they're not they don't understand why plan these plans that are coming why they move the way they move and such and such because the planets are spirits they move however they want to move. I mean, obviously, it's controlled by the gen they're controlled by the quantum generator, of course, but I believe there's some leeway, like possible that they there's some kind of they have some kind of leeway or they become somewhat aware of themselves and in control of themselves just like just like I say that the virus has become more strategically aware through these last 4,000 years because it was here right from the get-go came early early millions of years ago it came uh, yeah, I believe it came. I believe the the virus has been here a long time for for a million years. I mean, for a long, long time. Not just not just this this program. It was here bef shards before, you know. I believe. Like I said, this is not the first shard that we've been dealing with the virus. I don't believe. Okay. That's my theory that that we can that somebody brought the virus from the other program, and I also stated that obviously they produced a new program. As soon as this program got infested with the virus, they produced a new program immediately. I would imagine. So that means there's a whole another program, and it's possible that these elite people have escaped to that other program. You know because. What's going to occur has an effect on all the plants in our solar system, not just us. So everybody's in danger. All the civilizations that live on Saturn's moons and Mars and the moon and all these places, uh, they're all in danger. You know, obviously, they built their civilization, and they, most of them live underground, they, or they built their civilization. They have buildings on top of the planet, of course, but I believe that they, a lot of their civilization is underground because they know you know, they're more aware of what's going on than we are. I mean, we're aware now, but how long have been the lead people aware of, you know, it takes time to prepare and shit, you know. So, I 
So I made the video glass ring. Okay. I told you about the glass ceiling. If you're not aware of that, yes, there's a glass ceiling. I told you how to, all the proof that's involved to say that there is a glass ceiling. So I'm not going to keep repeating myself. So now, if any of you watch wrestling, there's a wrestler and his name is Gold Dust. Okay. And then when he used to come out, gold dust used to come from the ceiling. Okay. Now, as the world uh, wrestling is obviously owned by the Illuminati, uh, they know all these secrets. And that's why this guy came out and gold dust came from the ceiling because that's what's going to happen. Okay. Shit is going to fall and it's going to look golden. Okay. Because. Back in the 1400s, there was testimony that says cinders fell. Cinders. Now, I, I believe it's more than just the glass is going to fall, you know. It's not just glass that's going to fall down on us. It's, you know, even if the space rat termites don't blow up the, the, the glass ceiling... Uh, it's probably going to fall anyways because all the shit that's going to come down. So, you know, my idea and my, my theory that the space rat termites blow it up may not be correct. It may just going to fall. It's going to be wiped out on its own by all the meteors and everything that's going to fall. Okay? So, let me elaborate a little bit more on what I believe is going to happen is concerning the glass ceiling and... Um, the other things that are going to come down on us. I got this phone sideways, man. I hope this shit works. It's not all crooked. and you know, I'm not going to be happy about that. I have to do this over. All right. So, now, we have a glass ceiling, okay? Uh, everybody knows that glass needs to be cleaned. Okay? You have to clean your windshield in your car. You have to clean your windows in your house. If not, a film gets on there. Okay? What exactly is that film? Okay, that's bacteria and shit. It's, it's on there. Okay, now, as we are surrounded by a giant glass, piece of glass, what do you think is all over the glass? Bacteria. Okay? So, when the shit meteors or whatever is going to smash through that <clears throat> all that bacteria is going to rain down on us okay so it's not just glass is going to fall bacteria is going to fall okay now this bacteria also is toxic it's toxic okay so that's another issue that we're going to be dealing with it's all this toxic bacteria is going to rain down on us Okay. Um, well, those other things I want to talk about. Hmm. Yeah, so... Bacteria is going to rain down on us. Now, okay, this is what I wanted to say. Now, there's also uh, call, something called a therm... Now, I don't know if you, if you people are aware, like, what is, like, what our atmosphere is, or what are the different levels of substance of air or what they're, how it is, okay? Now, there's something that is called the thermosphere. Okay, now, <clears throat> thermosphere is like 3,000 degrees, but as there is very few particles there, it actually is cold, okay? But it's not actually cold. It's actually super hot, but... It's cold because there's no particles for the heat to interact with, okay? So, <clears throat> what, 
when all these meteors and all this shit comes and all this, you know, starts raining down on us, particles are going to fill that space, okay? So that thermosphere is going to heat up, all right? That's why Ronnie James Dio sang the song Neon Nights, okay, because that's what it's going to look like. The sky is going to start to brighten, all right? These are the messages you miss, my children. All these messages. The final countdown, neon nights, you know, reaching for the stars, we blind the sky. You guys, you people missed all these messages, man. It's such a shame. I mean, these people work so hard to relay these messages to you, and you just, you guys, people just thought it was fantasy. I don't know what you thought, but. I mean, you could probably just go through all the songs. I mean, you imagine what you could learn just by listening to the songs. I mean, I don't remember all the songs I've heard, you know, like... I mean, like I said, the ru the ru the uh, Rush, Rush, the album Signals is all about me. I mean, a lot of their albums are about me. A lot of them. Rush, Black Sabbath, Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, I mean, <clears throat> Brunette Metallica. All their songs are about me and about what's going to happen. I mean, they got a few love songs in there, a few songs about whatever, but yeah, majority of their songs, that's what it's about. <laughs> you know, I think about it, I'm over here joking around and shit. And... I mean, this is just horrible, what's gonna, about to happen. And one of the most horrible things about it is that people are just completely oblivious. Watching television, watching sports, uh, just carrying on with their life like everything's goody goody. I mean, are you serious? No one's getting. I mean, how many people are prepared? I mean, you know, everyone right now should have their whole. If you have a basement or somewhere, should be totally full, jam packed with food and water. A jam packed, jam packed. You should have thousands and thousands and thousands of gallons of water put up. You should have all kinds of food that's going to last you for a while. Canned food or whatever you can afford. Freeze-dried food, beef jerky, dried fruit. You know, if I had the money, believe me, I would be, I would be prepared. I'd be prepared. You know, and then what about all the dumb, dumb people that are not even moving to safe zones? They're just living in a place that's about to be underwater. I mean, that's another thing that amazes me. My mother's in Florida. I told her, my, don't you know that the tidal wave is going to be five miles high? I mean, what are you, I mean, you know, but she can't accept any tiny, my mother can't even accept one tiny bit of information from me. Not even one tiny bit. Because her ignorance, arrogance, and pride is so, runs so deep, she's so lost, okay? And she's so possessed by the virus. Same with my father, both of them, okay? They can't accept any information at all whatsoever. None. None. Nothing. As soon as I start trying to warn her about something, oh, I don't know, I, uh, okay, I can't hear that, uh, you know, so she's probably a perfect example of most of the dumb, dumb people that are out there right now. You know, most of the people that are watching this right now, if you're watching this, this means that you're, you know, you're at least half aware. Because if you weren't, then you'd be watching idiot mainstream media. You wouldn't be watching this. So that means you're already at least half awake. Okay, because that's only people that watch this. You know, that's the only people that watch this, you know. I told my mother, yeah, a lot of people are prophesizing around the world. She says, oh, I didn't see anything about that on TV. I said, it's not on TV. Oh, where did you get this information? I said, on YouTube. She says, oh, why you watch that? It's just a bunch of kooks on there. That's what, I mean, that's what these people think. That we're all a bunch of kooks, you know. A bunch of kooks. 
you know, all the people that right now that are out there doing such good work, you're all going to be rewarded by the Lord. Okay, that's what this is what our Lord Satan wants you to do. This is the work. What we're doing right here on YouTube, all you good people out there putting making videos every day, trying to inform the public, you are the saviors of mankind. You are the saints. You are the you are our greatest disciples among our greatest disciples. And the Lord will re reward you greatly, greatly. You know, of course you're slandering the shit out of us because, you know, you don't fully understand, you know, what, you don't fully understand everything, but, you know, like I say, you know, we're used to being slandered, so <laughs> that really doesn't, I mean, it bothers us, but, you know. Shit, so we're used to that. You know. Like I said, your value lies in your work, not your whatever you believe in. And I also stated that even if you're in a church or if you're in a mosque or if you're in a temple or wherever the hell you are, if you connect with the 182 current, you're connected with the 182 current. Okay? So it doesn't matter what you're encompassed by. You could still con you could still connect with the Lord, our Lord. And our hierarchy. It's not just our Lord. Okay, I know I repeat myself over and over, but I, I get you know it's probably not a bad thing because not everybody watches all my videos. I mean, I only have like two hundred, but you know, I might as well keep grinding it out. I mean, it's, we don't got much longer to go. I mean, rapture could happen any day, and most definitely it'll happen by September. I mean, by September, you know, there's so many people right now are stating that. September 22nd, 23rd, 24th, you know, and then, oh, jerk off, Pope is going to come over here. So that's that's just a sign that, you know, he's probably going to come over to see all the people in the concentration camps and shit, you know, glorifying that. But that's not how it's going to go down. As a matter of fact, I'm about to make a video and, and <clears throat> little news flash for the Jesuit scum of the earth. In my next video but this is a long video but this is important because I'm not only are the spirits crying out to me for retribution okay like I said I mean it's hard for even me to wrap my mind around what's about to happen now what I was talking about before about this being the final countdown, that there's not going to be any, no more, things not going to be the way they are. It's not like the plan's going to go by and we're going to start over. I don't think that's the way it's going to go down, my children. Okay, there's more to the story. More to the story. That's why this premonition of a new single verse has come upon me. Because there's this a small glimmer of Gnosis of what it exactly is ahead of us, you know, and like I said, they don't want to tell me too much because they know I got a big mouth and I'm gonna tell the whole world because that's what I aspire to do, you know, truth and wisdom. That's what I look for, and that's what I try to give the people. Truth. That's what we're about. That's what we are. Truth seekers. All the all the people out there and are on YouTube. Trying to illuminate the world is the truth. We're truth seeker. That's what we're about. Truth and wisdom. That's what we want to know. Never mind uh, Oprah Winfrey Show. Never mind Jerry Springer. Okay? That's not what we're interested in. We're interested in truth and wisdom. That's what we want to know. What exactly is the truth? You know, when exactly is the asteroid going to land on our lips? You know, we want to know. Okay, we're not sleeping like all the other dum-dums out there. Okay? We're trying to wake up the world, but it's not, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. Okay. It's not happening because if it was happening, people would be stocking up and there would be more unrest because people would be getting more nervous. And let me tell you something else. That when the reason we can't see the plants is because all the spraying they do. They spray the metal of particulates in the air and all this other shit. And the glass ceiling is hiding the planets as well. Because I told you we can't see through that shit. 
okay? And the quantum generator is not producing the holograms for us to see it, okay? The only way we see it is certain times. Now, I also believe that people that have telescopes can see through the glass ceiling. That's why they can see shit out there, okay? So when they look, they're not looking at a hologram. They might be looking at the real shit. Okay, my children? That's another theory I had. Listen, I I'll say it again. I don't uh, Assumptions are a characteristic of the ignorant, okay? I don't aspire to making assumptions, okay? Like I said, there's a special case. The shit I'm doing right now is a special case. I don't believe in pervading fear. I don't believe in, in making assumptions. But I'm reaching because I'm doing my best to, to, you know, figure everything out for us. I'm not just figuring this shit out for me. I'm trying to... Figure it out for you people as well, you know, because I, I don't know about you, but I never heard anything on the uh, uh, 6 o'clock news that we're in a quantum generated program. I never heard that anywhere. So, matter of fact, I don't even hear it anywhere on YouTube. I mean, I figured that shit out for myself. Well, plus, of course, you know, Kashuk Records and our great spirits of wisdom helped me out a little bit too, but... Like I told you, my crown is not open much, John. It's only partially open. So it's not like I'm super duper sorcerer over here, like talking to spirits. Like, that's not how it's working. It's, it's subliminal gnosis. It comes into my right brain and seeps into my left, and then that's how it works. And then, of course, I have dreams and visions and shit like that, but. And then, of course, I was Merlin, you know. And that's the, that's the story with a lot of sorcerers. If you're a sorcerer, it means you were most likely a sorcerer in your former life. Or you're a witch or you're a magician. is because that's what you've always been, a witch and magician. You've always been one. Every lifetime you find it. You find that wisdom because that's what you know. You know, that's embedded in your, your DNA. You know, your, your DNA. That's why that attracts you. The arts attract you because... That's truth and wisdom, you know. And obviously the bad people don't want you to mess around with that because then you're a threat. That's why they put in the Bible, oh, stay away from witchcraft, sorcery, and magic because, oh, it's bad and blah, 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 because they don't want you to learn that shit. They don't want you to learn that shit because then you're a threat. They don't want your chakras activated. <clears throat> they don't want your, you to use your whole brain. They don't want you to open your eye. They don't want you to open your crown. That's the last thing in the world they want. Because then you're going to find out the truth. They don't want you to know the truth. They want you to be deaf, dumb, and blind. You know, that's why I can't understand why people watch television. Television is the worst possible thing you could do to watch television. Okay, there's all kinds of subliminal messages coming at you. There's probably spy bots coming through there at this point. Okay, there's probably, who knows, Every, there's color coding and everything is color-coded, too, to have an effect on your DNA and your psyche as well. It's just complete nonsense. It's distraction. That's what it is. They're trying everything in the world they could think of to distract you from looking and saying, wait a minute, what the hell is going on here? They don't want you to say that. They don't want you to say that, my children. It's the last thing they want you to say. Last thing I want you to do. That's why I said, all will be gone. You are all supposed to be Satan's. You're supposed to question. You're supposed to challenge. You're supposed to ask what for. You're supposed to want to be yourself and be different from the next. Those are not my words. Those are the words of the Lord, okay? Those are not my words. Yeah, I wrote it down, but no, that, that, that was not, I don't believe that was, I came up with that shit. That was, you know, and that was... That's that's the trick. <laughs> that's the trick the Lord did. You know what I'm saying? The Lord, because he didn't want it. He didn't want. He wanted you to search for that wisdom, my children. He wanted you to dig deep for that finest jewel. He wanted you to look, open up that door, look in the dark room, and look around. You know, look for the Lord. Look for him. Where, where is the Lord? That's what I did. When I left, when I left, uh, Connecticut, that's what I did. Okay? I, I I mean, my main goal was to go here to the next, well, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to say it, but to go where I grew, where I live with Lucifer. We live, I believe we live together. 
I don't know how I lived because I was trying to figure out my last lives. I mean, I know I was Joseph Gotti. I know that I was Hitler. Okay, so that takes up a lot of years right there. So before that was the was the lifetime that I probably would have been Lucifer's brother because he would have been my great great grandfather or my great grandfather you know something to that effect you know then again I, I you know I wonder about Alistair Crowley because that was of someone that I quite possibly could have been as well you know, Aleister Crowley, who is, who, you know, who is that spirit? Like, I mean, he, you know, I know the whole world makes it look like the Mr. Bad Guy, but no, he was, he was very intelligent. He was a mountaineer. He was, he could speak like six languages. He was no dummy, my children. That was one, that was one very, 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 you know, intelligent person. I mean, you look at him, and he look, you know, he looks like me. Like, you know, we don't look like we're the smartest, the brightest bulb in the box, you know. But no, he was, he was, a, you know, a pretty incredible human being. Yeah, he was a pervert, and he was whatever he was. He, but who knows if even that shit is true? But you know, that's another thing the Illuminati people told me that we're all perverts. <laughs> Yeah, they say we're all perverts. It's just that some people act on their impulses and some don't. That's what they told me. Uh, I believe that, whatever you want to believe. You know, and then if you go back through history, women were getting pregnant and having children at 12, 13 years old and getting married. 12, 13 years old. Okay, all throughout history. Okay, for so for someone to make a law that says you can't have sex with a with a woman until she's eighteen or whatever the law is, I don't know what the law is, but that's that's just something they created to put more people in prison. That's what that is. And what they're another part of their little plan is they try to encourage children to become interested in sex so that they can put more people in prison because the common core teachings are teaching the children about dildos and you know and then that spy bot sex game or reality com com computer thing where you go and you have sex with the computer or like you know you ha can actually have an orgasm from looking at this computer shit and so that encourages children to get interested in sex and then what happens <laughs> They find themselves in a situation where the neighbor is babysitting them or whatever and the parents are away and no one else is in the house. And the girl, young girl, maybe 13, 14, 15 years old, whatever, you know, she's along with a man and, you know, he might look a little, she might be kind of attracted to him and she's curious about sex and she says, well, she, what does she think in her mind? Well, geez, here's a good opportunity. Maybe I could get this guy to fool around with me. And then what happens? So they convince the guy to fool around with them. And then, of course, they're so excited that they have sex. They run and tell all their friends. And then it gets back to the parents. And then what happens? The guy ends in prison. <laughs> you know, that's their part of their little plan. Anything they can, any law they can make to put you in prison, that because prison is a business. They make money off the prisoners. So, you know, every which way they make money off the prisoners. <laughs> every which way. So it's a business, you know, so they want to keep feeding the prison machine. That's why they bring the drugs into the country, because <laughs> they want to turn you all into drug addicts, because then they can catch you with a drug. If you're a drug addict, they catch you with the drugs, and then you go to jail. Or if you're a drug dealer, they catch you selling the drugs, and then you go to jail even longer. <laughs> you know, prison, whatever, jail, prison. Jail is just, jail is just county bullshit while you going through your bullpen therapy. <laughs> you know that's another thing too is that they want you to cop out that's why they make the county jail so disgusting and horrible and that's why they won't take you outside you know they make you stay in there Any, anything to make, make it horrible in there county jail because they want you to cop out 
because you get to prison, it's better. You know, you get a little job, you got more movement, you go outside every day, you know. It's all a complete bunch of bullshit, what it is. So, yeah, so let me go back to what I was saying. I'm really rattling, but it's a long one, it's a long one. Oh, well. Um, this thermosphere. Why Why Ronnie James Dio sang the song, Neon Nights, Neon Nights. That's what he's talking about, okay? When the particles from all this space debris and shit starts firing up that thermosphere, it's going to glow, okay? That's what Neon Nights, that's what he's talking about. Okay, um... Now, that's not the only problem that, that is on the forefront, okay? Now, <clears throat> I don't know if you people are aware that they these morons brought nuclear reactors into outer space and all kinds of nuclear shit out there, and they've had some accidents, apparently. So there's all kinds of nuclear particles of these reactors that have been destroyed and blown up or whatever happened to them, floating around out there so they're basically like nuclear mines outer space nuclear mines that are floating around and you know that could just be a story and then they did that on purpose because they want to stop our allies from coming to save us they don't want our allies to save us they want us all to die they want everyone to die on earth you know not only that they're trying to blow up the earth okay but they can't blow up the earth i don't think because Earth, I believe, is actually some kind of ship. Okay, if you look at how Earth is how Earth is made, it's like this. This is Earth. And it's on a piston. Okay, it's on a piston. So the Earth can actually go like this and flatten out. Okay? All right? And I believe that's why there's cracks right now in the Atlantic and Pacific. Huge, monstrous cracks with lava coming out right now at this very second. So, like I said, if this is the very end, this is the final countdown, things are not going to be the same. And I also had a theory that there's a new sun coming here and that the sun we know it, that we see is going to burn out. It's going to turn into a red dwarf. Okay, so that everything's going to change. And I also told you before that we rotated planets. Okay, planets have been rotated because they, they get used up because the, everything that comes destroys that dimension. So that dimension is pfft, bullshit after that. You know, it's, that's why when we look at other planets, we see they look all screwed up. Because that's the dimension that we see, the screwed up dimension. Okay? So yeah, Earth can go and flatten out. It might be a spaceship. I don't know if it's a spaceship. It actually, you know, I don't know all the details, but yeah, I believe Earth can actually flatten out. And that may be why there's cracks in the seafloor. Because it's in the process of flattening out. It's going to flatten out the Earth. It's going to flatten out. And it's going to move. It's going to move because all the other planets have been rotated and moved. So I assume that now it's our time to be rotated. Move. We're going to move. The whole earth is going to move. It's going to be a new sun. A new sun is going to come. It's coming. What am I talking about? It's coming. It's already on its way here. So this program is going to be completely... And some whole new shit is going to be created. Okay, now. As we are, our program is infested with a virus. Who's ever in charge of this generator running this generator which probably are us now but i told you i believe they had it was hijacked for a while by the bad people <clears throat> you know that might not be the ultimate control center you know there might be another 
Like I said, there's a central hub. Okay, so in the central hub, maybe uh, some type of control center that controls all, has oversees all the quantum generators because each program has to have a quantum generator. Okay, so the last program that we came for had a quantum generator. This program has a quantum generator. The other program that was been created because it got infested with the virus, I'm sure they created another program, has another quantum generator. That's how it works. I believe. Okay? So, yeah. The, when Europe sang the song, it's the final, that's what they meant. Final countdown. This is the final countdown. The plan is not going to come, go by, and we're going to try to survive. Start over. Uh, uh, that's not how it's going to go down. I don't think, I don't believe my children. That's not how it's going to go down. And then, just look at the fact that I am who I am. Okay? I am who I am. And, you know, I also, I also had a thought that, you know, I might be a prince. I'm the prince, but I might actually be a crown prince. Okay? I mean, that I've already sat on the throne before. Like, I believe that I was one of the pre-dynastic kings of Egypt. And so, that's basically the same shit. Okay, and I've already held rank of king because I was king of Kanaan. So, I already held rank of king way the hell back then. I was already a king, already. I was a king, then I was an earl, then I went back to earl. I was probably a duke, I was probably a president, I probably did, I probably held all ranks already. I could be wrong, but, you know, these are just, these are just things that, you know, because I'm racking my brains, my child, I'm racking my brains trying to figure out how this is going to go down and how are we going to survive and how can I save as many people as possible and, you know, don't forget what I said in the tablets, don't forget what I said, I said why don't we get out of here and settle our differences later? You know, we can settle our differences later, you know. I mean, that's another idea. I mean, never. I know the bad people need to be punished and all that shit, but I'll never chop off my nose or spite my face much, or, you know, never. Never. I'll never let my personal feelings get in the way of saving somebody else. And you shouldn't either. What else did I want to say? I think that's about it. Okay, we're at 43 minutes. Yeah, so that's some uh, important information concerning the glass ceiling and the bacteria that's up there in the thermosphere. And, you know, that's issues that, that are major issues on the forefront of what we're going to be dealing with. Okay? All right, my children, I love you. Till next time, I'm going to make the next video I'm going to make to the Jesuit scum of the earth. All right? See you later.